In the previous video, we learned how to create an HTTP server with the built-in HTTP module in Node.js. In that example, we learned how to respond with some plain text. In this video, let's see how to respond with JSON data. In the request listener, I'm going to create a new object. const superhero has two properties, first name set to Bruce, and last name set to Wayne. Now let's try respond by sending this object to the client. So rest.end superhero. In the terminal, run node index. And if you now refresh the browser, we have a problem. Head back to VS Code and we see an error in the terminal. The chunk argument must be of type string or an instance of buffer or uint array. Instead, received an instance of object. So we can't send JavaScript objects as is in a response. What we have to do is convert it into what is called the JSON format. JSON, which stands for JavaScript Object Notation, is a data interchange format that we can use with HTTP. The nice thing about using JSON format is that the V8 engine has built-in functionality to support what we want to achieve. All we have to do is invoke the built-in method json.stringify and pass in superhero as an argument. We do, however, have to specify to the browser the content type is JSON. So on line 9, content type colon application slash json. Now, if we restart the server, node index, head back to the browser and refresh, we see a string representation of our object. If you want to convert this back to an object, you can use the built-in json.parse method. But this is how you can send objects as JSON response. And you'll be pleasantly surprised to know you've written your first API with Node.js. We have one API endpoint, which is localhost 3000, and that endpoint returns some data. That data is an object with first and last names. In doing this, not just the browser, but any server that is capable of making a request can now get this data from our application. Now we will learn what exactly is an API and we will learn all there is to designing APIs with Node.js, but that is for another series. For now, I want you to understand that content type set to application slash JSON and JSON.stringify are sufficient to send a JSON response back to the client a format that is different to plain text, which we had seen in the previous video. If this is clear, join me in the next video where we will learn how to send HTML as a response. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.